So I'm training to run a sub three hour marathon, which means running a mile in six minutes and 50 seconds, 26 times in a row. And I'm not a professional runner, I'm not an elite runner. In fact, I only started running seriously about two years ago. So in this video, I wanna give you guys my advice on how to get into running and how to become a runner. Welcome to the video. Today I'm in a place you've 100% never heard of before. I'm in a little town called Elbing, Kansas, and it is quite literally a 200 person town surrounded by thousands of acres of cornfields. But this is where my grandparents live, and I have a lot of great memories here. It's a small, quiet little town. Um, but I'm here because every summer we go on a camping trip, just me, my brothers, and my uncles, to a family pond. And so we're gonna do that today. But like I said in the intro of this video, today I'm gonna be talking about how to become a runner and the things that took me from being a soccer player to a more serious runner. And so stick around to the end of the video. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. I'm gonna go over all my tips and tricks for how to become a runner. Um, but before that, let's go camp. So here with the boys, Kansas. Dude, that is literally a scene out of Lion King. The wildebeest just crushing uh, Mufasa. Yeah. What are you sipping on? Uh, we're sipping on some G1M. <laughs> yep, G1M Sport from uh, BPN. Color red inside our veins. Driving us to the edge and the other side of insane. The last thing I would ever want is ticks. I've never had a tick, but I don't ever want to get one. That's for sure. So I'm loading up on the tick repellent spray. Runs from me every time. Your heart goes. me with your smile. So I'm in this little marshland area because I'm tracking a snake to kill. Um, but while I'm here, I want to talk about how I got into running and how I transitioned from a soccer player to a runner. For the longest time growing up, I always saw running as like a negative thing, like a, a punishment. Our soccer coach would make us do sprints, you know, if we messed up in a drill. Or I would go run just to stay in shape. And I never ever thought it was going to be something that was like enjoyable for me. Every time I would go for a run, I would just like do it as fast as I could just to get the mileage over with. But as a result, I was never able to go m like much more than three miles because I I was just going too fast. So my biggest piece of advice for anyone looking to get into running is to first change your mindset about running. Don't see it as a negative thing. Don't see it as a punishment. Don't see it as something that can't be enjoyed. Because I'm telling you as someone who did not enjoy running and even dreaded it, I love it. And I started to love it because I did a few things. The first of which being I slowed down. And the reason this is important is because when you first start running, if you're going too fast, you're gonna burn out and you're gonna just get frustrated because you're not gonna feel good, you're gonna be out of breath, you're not gonna be able to run that far. And so what you need to do is slow your pace and just get time on your feet. Do not worry about your mileage. Just go out and run for time. Because what that will do is put you in a mindset of, okay, I'm out here for 10, 15 minutes, I need to go at a slow enough pace so that I can last for those 10 to 15 minutes. And what that does is it will build your endurance, it'll build your aerobic base, and then eventually you'll be able to run farther and faster. So that's tip number one. Now let's go kill a snake. Well, buns are very important, so you want a flattened bun that's not airy, you know? Um, why can't you even open it? Next step is to grab a spoon, grab inside those beans, just sprinkle some on the top just a little bit. Always catch it before mustard. 
One to ten. Mm, um. Mm. For a hot dog, I'll give it. I'll give it a seven point five out of ten. Mm. Not my best work. Okay, ready? So I'm gonna push it and then I'm gonna get in. Okay, just sit on that side. Okay. You good? Okay. Yep. Here you go. So it's me and my boy Sam out on the boat, taking in the views. Let's go check that. Let's go run and check those guys out. All right, we're gonna go check out the cattle. So you gotta keep your heart exposed, and you can be sure there's no cause and no cure. And if it won't you, uh, oh, it'll come and find you. Uh, Sophie and I are gonna make a little s'more here. But I don't like burning mine. So yeah, we have a difference of opinion because I think it should be on fire within three seconds. No. But she thinks it should be like it should be a ten minute process. Evenly cooked, which is ridiculous to me. Like, what is it? No, no, no. Cast it in the fire. No, no. You can't. Light it. Light no. it. I hope the stick breaks. Actually, it's very nice. It sticks hot. <laughs> Okay. Could have been cooked a little bit longer. No. 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Because it needs to be burned. How's this more? Great. Tell me about it. Why don't you have, why don't you have chocolate in there? Good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. <laughs> the best. Well, good. <laughs> so 10 out of 10? What? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wow. We got rained out last night, so I had to pack up our tents and everything really quickly. It was kind of frustrating, actually. So we ended up just sleeping at my grandma's house. But I still have my long run to get done. So I have a 10 miler to do. But honestly, it's kind of fun running in this little town. Um, so I'm just gonna make up a route and just go for it. My brother Jordan's gonna come along with me if you saw him from last episode. So it should be fun. <laughs> no, all my electrolytes. So like every run, we're gonna do a pre-run fit check, which if you saw last video, I'm wearing the exact same thing, so just go watch that video. But let's see what Jordan's up yep, to. Yeah, I got a new fit check today. Um, I got the same shoes, the um, Tempo Next Percents. Um, I got some uh, high ankle socks. I got Fabletics, so wrong side. Fabletics, and then I have a shirt that um, I tore off the sleeves because I forgot a shirt to run in, so this is what I'm doing today. So this, this is the fit check and the Apple Watch, so yeah.
yeah, so that's a that's a wrap. I did uh, six miles. Nick was doing ten, but we went at a eight minute and thirty second pace. Uh, but it was a good time. We got to uh, talk a lot out there. The weather was good. It was pretty windy. And uh, oh yeah, thank you, Cass. Got some G1M Sport. Got to hydrate. Make sure you're hydrating. It's a good run. Yep, there's Nico right there. Still got. He's still got four more miles. All right, just finished up 10 miles. That wraps up week five of marathon prep already. So it's going by fast, but it was a really good run. Pretty windy outside. I mean, we're in farmland, so the wind out here just rips past you, but it's cloudy and chilly, so that beats heat and humidity any day for sure. So I did the first six with Jordan, and then he split off, and then I did the last four by myself. Um, but that leads me to my second tip on how to become a runner, and it's just consistency and showing up every day and just putting in the work. The more you do something and the more you go out and run, the better you'll become at it just naturally. You don't need to worry about all these other things like what's the best running schedule, what's the best running gear, should I do this or that. Those things are secondary to just going out, getting the miles in, and just putting in the work. Because I promise you, the more you run, the better you'll become. So I'm back after a solid weekend at my grandma's house and I wanted to get into tip number three, which is keep running fun and exciting for yourself. There are things you can do to keep running interesting, fun, exciting, all those things. And the first of which being run with other people, find someone to go run with. Running with other people pushes you in a way that you're not going to be pushed just running by yourself all the time. So text a friend, get them to go run with you because I promise it'll make running more fun and it will make you a better runner. Second way is to switch up your routes. Find new places to run throughout the week. Don't just run the same route all the time because that can cause running to become boring and stagnant. So just Google running trails near me and just find a trail and go explore it, go run it. It'll keep running from getting boring and it'll keep things interesting and keep you excited about running. The third way is to listen to some music. I love throwing on my headphones and just blasting some cinematic movie soundtrack music and it just makes running epic feels like you're running through a movie and so listen to some music I wouldn't do it all the time but I definitely think there's a time and place to throw on some headphones blast some music and crank out the miles all right the fourth and final way is to invest in some good running shoes it sounds kind of superficial but I promise you if you go and buy a good pair of shoes that you're excited about and that you really like you're gonna be more excited to go run and you're gonna run more and like we talked about if you run more you're gonna become a better runner. So go buy a pair of shoes you really like and take them for a little spin. Okay, so my fourth and final piece of advice is to not compare yourself to anyone else. It can be really hard for people to first start running because it's super easy to get caught up in the comparison game of thinking, oh, this person is a much better runner than me. They can run this pace for this long. I'm nowhere near that. But let's face it, unless you're Elliot Kipchoge himself, you're never gonna be the best runner. So if that's how you measure your success, then you might as well just give up right now. Instead, you need to change the way you measure success. Instead of measuring it as, I need to be the best in the world, think about just being a better version of yourself than you were the day before. And that's how you should measure success. Measure it based off of making incremental improvements every single day. So those are my tips, that's my advice for how to get into running. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's gonna be new videos every single week, so subscribe, please, and like the video. Drop a comment, I'm gonna be reading through the comments and responding to you guys, and I will see you all next week.